Hello and welcome aboard Whale Pod to another episode of Temtem. I'm your Captain Whale, and today we're going to be progressing towards the volcano. And on our way there, we've found a wild bonapi. So we're going to whittle it down a little bit. That should be right in the catchable range. No, we're gonna have you Toxic Fang the Spiral. And you're gonna Tem card the Bonapi. Broke free with no effort, apparently. We're just gonna Tem card it, and then if that one still doesn't work, we'll go for the plus. And we got it. A pure fire type. We'll send it to the Tem deck. Pyromaniac, I do believe, just boosts the power of fire techniques further. Unfortunately, our Saku is already looking worse for wear. So, uh, we're gonna take a quick break. I don't want to pop too many items or my or my Tem Essence file right now. And we're back. Uh, over getting spotted by another Tamer. Another one. Wonder why the dojos let so many people roam so close to a knock volcano. Must mean you're a capable Tamer. Part of why we do have Platox with us right now. Aside from the fact that he's low level and needs to be brought up to speed, is that, uh... He is holding the decoy so we can guaranteed run away from any untamed Temtem encounters. Platox is really our only resistant to, uh... to fire, so we're just gonna bring out our Crunchy Skunch. See, Kapire is another one that can have a last rush, so we'll likely always have a last rush as well. Yeah, we're gonna go for the overexert here and just see if we can't finish this off in one go. What's the damage? Only three? Uh. 3 HP per stamina over, it would appear. You're good. How come I've never seen you in the Nanga Dojo? Um, maybe because your Dojo Master's not here. 144 Pan Suns from this chump. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there isn't anything back that way. Unless there's something new to catch here, which there is not, you will see an example of a... Platox allowing us just to run away. Take a big bite of our coward sandwich and decoy out of here. Couple more encounters of just the same, and I might just put on a scent or something for the duration of the episode. But the decoys do make it not as bad as it could be otherwise. Come on. I walked through entire patches of grass without finding anything. And now we're getting three in it. Three within six steps. Now I'm just taking my anger out on this thing. Here who I want. Look at me. I'm living on the edge. Like literally living on the edge. Let's have a literal fight. And if you lose, I'll push you off the literal, the literal edge. 
Let's fight to the last Temtem, figuratively. No, literally. Deendra and Saku. Tanky Saku, take that four turn poison. Oof. A boomerang must be faster. And either a course technique or a egg technique, because my Saku does not have it in that move. Saku hogging all the experience. Okay. We'll just feed this kill to Skunch. Totally smashed it, symbolically. I do think that boil is a bit of a typo. I think it should have been an exclamation mark there. One Nestle damaged. No. Sometimes the controls still foul me up a little bit here. Let's put Cheryl out front until we're ready to bring back our Platox. Now also with our, uh, with our decoy KO'd, we're gonna put on a scent here. A knock Caldera. Shaolant, damage. Uh, must be a seasonal thing for the, you know, this being a live service game and all. Stop, I wouldn't go any further if I were you. It's not safe. See that crystallized field right ahead? Unless you're properly equipped, you might not be able to get back. Are you part of that expedition? A uh, pansun wept, no. I'm a real scientist, not one of those quacks. What sort of scientist barges into a place kicking people aside? That's not proper field work, Praxis. I wish I knew who's in charge of that expedition to, to, to report them to our peers at Arbor University. It's outrageous. Apologies, this really rubs me the wrong way. I'm gonna go take a look. Thanks, I'd go myself, but alas, I don't have crystal skates. Pretty suspicious how all of a sudden it's impossible to find a single pair in any shop. Almost like they rounded them all up and hit them in the giant banyan in order to, uh, three average crystals, in order to prevent people from following them. Enhancer watermelons. Adds, uh, a TV to stamina. Send a dissipated. Well, we won't pop another one right now. I don't think encounters happen on crystal. And Daria damaged. Hmm. You smell something, Emma? What's it, my dear? Someone approaching? Oh, you. Dang, tell me you're not another prospector for Pan Sun's sake. I'm not another prospector. Thank you, Nak. What's bothering you? The sorry state of the educational standards in the archipelago. What do you think? The darn Anak volcano, that's what. A bad for business? Calamitous partner. It's bad enough that the competition is fierce. Last thing I need is my main source of drying up, or lavaing up. All those traditionalists at the dojo can keep their romantic notions of a knock. 
To me, this is a livelihood. I'm eating my last pan sons here, pal. Any clues? Clues? Do it look like that Carlos guy? I'm no detective. I'm a miner. I don't do clues. I do pickaxes and shovels. Sweat and toil, that's right. But, come to think of it, I did see something. Odd. The other day, you know, there was this big expedition of whatever heading east from here. And this little Sepanky guy comes and says, Darn, I don't remember exactly what he said. Asked lots of questions about the crystal, what I did of it. What types of crystal I found around these parts. Diamond, even. Although, nothing, thought nothing of it back then, you know. Another big city nutter messing around and knocking themselves out. But if it has something to do with this mess, I swear I might do something rash. Uh, what's the crystal for? You call yourself a tamer and you don't even know what volcanic crystal is for? Think, partner. Where do you store your Tem Tem? Yeah, buddy, those little cards are made of crystal. Spewed by the Anak Volcano, mined by poor, poor souls like yours truly. Flown to Sepanku and made into cutting edge tech. Cards, computers, you name it. Of course, with the eruption disrupting production here, prices are up, which is nice. But I'm running out of stock. Either Ol Anaka gives it a rest or I'll, or I'll have to head to Denis. Third, there's a little deposit under the Hatless Hill. You mean the Ogmarina Caves? Well, whatever they're called. I prospected them once. Didn't seem profitable enough. But if it goes on for any longer, I might give it a second shot. I'll leave you to it. Sure. Enjoy your fancy little gadgets while I break my back to get them raw materials. Okay... Another sticker spot. Owl, are you damaged? Uh, the counterpart of Barn Sheep. Uh, that's the way forward. We don't want to go forward just yet. I take it these are spots where bridges will be built later that we can't get to yet. If uh, one of you guys do know, please do let me know. I uh, appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you all. Now, when we smoke bomb out of places, we'll be brought right back here. Two Weakener Pomelo uh, removes uh, 20 TV from special attack. Yeah, those are definitely part of the whole I'm playing this in the month of December more than anything else. The Glass Way. Let's get that filled into our map. No side content here in the Glass Way, at least for right now. So, we're gonna head back to the vol- Oh, wait, sticker on the ground. Then we'll head back to the volcano. Magma damaged. That's more like a mammoth than a mutt, but whatever. That's a battle. We don't want to get that sidetracked. We want to get into the volcano. Anak Volcano, the fiery heat of the goddess. Alright, uh... Now that we have Platox back, we're gonna put him back in the lead. Ha! Huh. Halt! Scientific personnel only. Go back to your village. Bel Soto, I knew it. You know us. Well, we don't know you, and we don't care to know you. Now beat it, villager, before I call the grunts. Riber, this is a new one. Hopefully that's not strong enough to take it down. Nope, not even close. We'll actually try throwing a Tem card plus here. 
And if that doesn't get it, we'll sand splatter it, then throw another one. And then throw, well, two. Or it'll just kill itself. Oh, what a shame. All right, Grunt, what do you have for us? Stop right there, intruder. I knew it. Tam Tam up. All units, I need reinforcements. We have a situation here. Volor. Times four, and down it goes. Lab team, lab team, evacuate. 200. Average crystal. A Banapi team found us. If we find another Riber, we'll uh, hopefully get our redemption arc for that failure on our account. Lieutenant, I found the intruder. Skunch and skunch. Skunch and extra skunch. So, we're just gonna open up strong and bring out the ringer. Down it goes. Quick and easy as that. I'm disengaging, Lieutenant. 159. Yep, Lottie definitely does not pay her subordinates. Uh, well. Hardly at all. Banapi. Okay, we're putting another scent back on. After we catch this thing. We'll start with the plus and go for a basic. This is a Hail Mary. We caught ourselves a Riber. Camaraderie does when attacked reduces damage taken by 50% if both allies are part of the same evolutionary line. Interesting, but uh, I don't like doing that sort of stuff. I like having more diversity than trying to play on a strategy like that. All right. Scent time. 
A Taifu. That's actually a new one, so we're gonna... Use the Stick Time album. We have an Owl Heath and a... Ah, I guess the Typhoon is one we already have a genuine of. There's our Owl he goes. I guess Towelly is their shared pre-evolution. where we go with this. So I just want to see... Yes, that Taifu was a duplicate. There's only one spot for a Taifu in the album. What do you do with the duplicate genuine ones? I know the damaged ones you find a weird collector to sell them to. Ask the intruder. Neutralize the threat. With pleasure, sir. stamina for a drop of blood. That that grandpa's for sure going for the for the kill on the on the Platox, so we'll send in our times four. And Crystal knocks itself out. And we'll bring in Cheryl for this, because that Nestle, I do believe, is water electric. We're going for the DC beam as opposed to the chain lightning because I do believe the Nestle heals when hit by electricity. Cheryl will inflict some damage back through mirroring. Tsunami, 29 stamina, damages the whole a whole team. Hold of one, and when combined with a wind ally, damage boost and cold for three turns. Platox is kind of a one trick pony anyway, so we'll try out Tsunami. There's one times two hit. There's another times two hit. Platoon down, I repeat, platoon down. 414 for taking out both of them. Yeah, that's right, you better run. Still in uniform, I see there, fellow player. A 
bomb pluses times two. Appears to have been the dead end we went down. Encounters reduced. Wait, no. Aha. Hey, hey, wait, I'm not one of them. What are you doing then? Just trying to make a living out, Islander. My orchard just died when the volcano went into eruption. Lost my whole harvest. No airships are going to my usual buyers, so all that's left for me is to sell my fruit to these Belsotos, whoever they are. You shouldn't. They're nasty. Tell me about it. Their boss is messing with a knock in some arcane way. That's what destroyed my livelihood. You think I'd, I would be dealing with them if I had an option? I wonder if the scents aren't working too well because our team is looking a little run down on our leadoffs. Okay. Ah, that's a climbing wall. That's what that means again. Bel Soto garden a box, so the box must be good. You. You are. It's not a crime to be part of Clan Bel Soto. Oh, Sierra. DC beam. Might not be a crime to be a part of Bel Soto, but it's a crime to be bad at battling. Doctor! Doctor! 120 pan sons. Man, you guys need to quit. Lottie's uh, taking all the benefit while leaving you guys to starve. A one heater. A flask of instant anacola. Instant heat in a bottle. A wear gloves before opening. He heals a cold or frozen temtem. So if someone wants to tell me why the scents are not blocking all encounters, even though these guys are way below my level, is it because my Temtem are hurt? Is it because other reasons? But for now, we're actually just going to, uh... Heal them up and hopefully that'll uh, reduce how fast they're coming at us. So yeah, I just got two weeks leave and was about to go see the family. Then blam, everything is cancelled, gotta ship out. Some big deal going on in Kisua. Think we're going to... Hey, over there. Ooh, chicken smazzy. It's 
Tsunami is a hold of one, unfortunately. Boy, that smazzy. Run, run, I'll cover you. Hundred eighty seven pan sons. Looks like we're gonna need climbing for. Send it is dissipated. We'll re up it. Three tem card plus. Three cents. One more heater. And these idiots. The intruder's approaching the lab. I repeat, the intruder's approaching the lab. Evacuate the lab staff. Pig epic and... Skunch. Platox is definitely looking to take a wind attack from that, uh... Pig epic, so we're gonna bring in Gazuma. And then we will have a wind type in still, or a second wind type in, so we will be able to get the bonus on Debris Typhoon. That's what we wanna see. down goes our Saku. I was hoping that Noxious Bomb would have been enough single target to take down the the Skunchy Skunch there. Well, uh, Chain Lightning is off the menu now. I know they didn't have a choice to send it out there, but it's still satisfying to see a barn she get taken down. The same way mine has been so many different times. Wow. Run, go, get to the doctor. 453, a little bit better pay. Still only about 225 per a grunt there.
Send is, has dissipated. We'll re-up it. We just get three more. Doctor, run away. They're already here. Platox and Sherald. I think this calls for a... Uh, double switch here Skunch is probably going to go into the Platox so we'll bring out Barnshee in its position Cheryl's going to be scurrying back for our own Skunch going for the Cheryl, even though they had fire available to him. Well, I'll put the Ariza to sleep here. Still seems a little weird that uh, Martial Strike raises special attack. Does that do again? Oh, a lot of damage what it does again. It'll do a little damage to us as well, so it's gonna fierce claw it. Uh, more than enough. Savage Barbarian. 135. Lottie does not appreciate her lab assistance. You're just gonna destroy what you don't understand. So explain. I am, was, in charge of the fire research team. We are looking for ways to increase the pressure and temperature of a knock volcano. So Dr. Hamijo could use that to modify his crystal temtem into something even harder. So I developed this. Fire chip. Damage done with fire techniques is increased by 10%. Just take it and leave me alone, okay? Trying to bribe me? No, it's... It's what you're looking for, I guess. I am... Was... In charge of the fire research team. Eh. So you caused the eruption. Yes, well, in a way, Dr. Hamijo has been working on hybridizing crystal and fire. He's a visionary. He's so close to creating a new variety of diamond, Tim Tim. Was... He was close. We were close. We had to increase the temperature in the caldera and dial up the pressure at which lava flows, but so what? These people are used to eruptions. It's, it's just some smoke and ashes. The science is worth it. This is not science. Puh. A real scientist doesn't concern himself with moral questions. My job is to help Dr. Hamijo's new temtem. I don't care what he does with them. You joined criminals to do immoral things. Are you really that blind? Just, j j just, I don't, just don't hurt me, okay? I want no part in this. I'm just gonna wait it out here. I won't get in your way. Two smoke bombs. All right, we will push a little further. After all, we have not even used our Tem Essence file. I am playing multiple games of different control schemes at once, so that's why we do have some accidental... Uh, misopenings of menus. Let's, uh... Collapse that to get to the Tem Essence file quicker. Now... Another lab assistant. Quick, grab those files and that folder. Those are the stress test results for the last batch. Pan Sun wept. It's the intruder. Run away, I'll delay them. Saku's gonna retreat here. Wait, we're gonna make sure we still bring out a wind so we can get the full tidal wave next 
Uh, what we want to do here is sand splatter the Magmus. Then bring out Gazuma here. One turn burn on Gazuma. No turn burn. If Gazuma still had Genki's ability, that would have been a no turn burn on Gazuma. Platox is caught up to the rest of the team. A Banapi. So close to a one round. have no idea what you're doing. We were already decades ahead of Nanto Labs research, you brute. 243 pan sons. You are definitely the senior lab assistant. Uh, the baleen damaged. Let's see. This is a question or an exclamation point here. And that returns another negative. Iteration 72 using crystal batch C, voltage increased by 30%. Overall performance about 11% better. Way below expectations for Project Anna here. Hmm. We need higher pressures in crucible chambers, hotter lava and latir in lateral ducts. Must send another envoy to Lady Lottie. Need better equipment? Lab conditions are just appalling. Try again. <laughs> better? Oh, one step closer to creating a real diamond temtem. You have some explaining to do. You! What are you doing in my lab? This goes against all procedures and regulations. Your very presence here is contaminating the batch. Leave at once. <laughs> oh, you must be that dojo thug the lab assistants keep talking about. Lady Lottie was supposed to deal with you. Anyway, always trust uh, Aristos to do nothing. The boss is gonna hear about this. How am I supposed to make any progress if I have to take care of all the contingencies myself? <laughs> My research is too important to be interrupted now. I'm so close to a perfect diamond temtem, and this time I won't be stopped. Dr. Hamijo. Calibus and Gazuma. We're gonna swap Gazuma for no, uh, Platox for Sherald. We're just gonna debris Typhoon the Calibus. Start marking some damage on that. Crystal dust on the Gazuma and debris typhoon the Calibus. Saku is no longer poisoned. Saipat. Crystal Dust of the Gazuma, and we're going to evac our uh, 
Saku for Barnshi. The Crystal Dust will go before the Gazuma. Well, Gazumably it will. It did not. The DC Beam is faster than a boosted speed Crystal Dust. Zaubian. That thing's good against mental. We're actually just gonna mark a little bit of damage on it. Barn, she's probably gonna go down here. Mirroring on that side pat, getting a little chip damage in. Let's bring in our own Gazuma. Go after the side pat here. Says DC beam that. Let's gang up on the Zaubian here, see if we can't take it down. Way to take that, Gazuma. Cheryl, come on out. Now we can safely chain lightning. And... We'll just mirror shell up here. Nice sack play there, Gazuma. Bring Saku out, got that crystal dust online if necessary. He only has one left and it's a Taifu. We're gonna debris Typhoon and Crystal Dust. Reducing its own holds by one. Bye, Saku. How could you? Those were prime specimens of genetically enhanced combat optimized Temtem. We earned a thousand pan cents. Hmm. This is Nanto Labs all over again. The black forces of ignorance and obscuritanism foil my advances again. Oh. You lot, if you could understand what it was, what I was trying to achieve here, 
We would be centuries ahead if men of science weren't harassed like that. Once again, I have to retreat into the shadows to fight another day. Alright. Nanga and check on Tihani, but that'll be in the next episode. I do thank you all for watching Whale Pod. Do remember to, uh, smack that like and subscribe button with a super effective left click. Now, with that, uh, on, on, uh, not uh, there in the outro yet, uh, do also feel free to comment down below. All three of those uh, help me out considerably, and I appreciate all three of them. Now that said and done, I hope you all, all are having fantastic days, Whale Pod. Remember to stay cool, stay classy, and most importantly, stay healthy. But until next time, this is Captain Whale, signing off.